Good morning, Faith Family. It's Friday, and I pray your day is starting well and that you're super excited, not just because it's the end of the work week, but because you have one more opportunity today to go out and represent Jesus well in both what you say and what you do, how you carry yourself. Be different, because you are different. You are set apart for the purpose of Christ. And so today, John's reminding us that when we encounter spiritual warfare, when we try to come against the lies that are often said in regards to who Jesus is, who we are as followers of Jesus, that we don't need to do it fearfully. We can have courage. We can be bold. And that's why I love verse 4, because it stands in such a strong contrast to the ideas of Antichrist, starting off with the very first word, you. Let me read the verse for us. You are from God, little children, and you have conquered them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Now, the reason why I say that first word is important is because it's in an emphatic position. Uh, it's almost as if, you know, here John's talking about Antichrist and all of a sudden, but you. You know, it's like he's just, saw, you know, he's like, hey, hey, but understand it's you. Uh, and of course, it's in the plural as well, so it's not just you in terms of the individual, it's you in terms of the body. Remember, we're stronger when we stand together. You know, why do I need the church? That's our themes. You, he says, are from God. So he says, you are stronger, you are different because of where you come from. You know, the fact that you've been created brand new in Christ, and now the Spirit of God is within you, and he talks a little bit more about that in a moment, and he uses the term little children. So little ones from God, you have conquered them. I love that statement. And some translations say overcome, uh, which kind of goes to the more of the concept being conveyed. But, but the literal idea is, is that of superiority, uh, that of being victorious over. Uh, it's the word Nikeo, uh, which is a very important word for John. In this letter alone, he uses it six times. In each case, he's talking about being superior to or victorious over, um, which it comes from the word Nike, which eventually comes to us uh, as Nike. Uh, Nike adopted that term in, into their uh, product, but we know that it fits best in the concept of Scripture, and especially in the life of the believer. We are conquerors. We are victorious in Christ. And like what it says, you have conquered. You are superior to them. Who's them? Antichrist. Those who reject Jesus, those who reject the gospel concerning Jesus, those who try to come against him, you have conquered them. We don't need to live in fear of that spirit. We are victorious. Why? Because he says, greater is the one in you than the one who is in the world. I've heard that state, I've heard that verse quoted many, many different times, uh, applied in different contexts. I don't know that it was taken out of context. I just wonder if we really believe it. We oftentimes seem to live on our heels, uh, in a, in a, in a, in a defensive position, uh, you know, which I told you Sunday when we looked at the, the, uh, the spiritual weapons of warfare, the spiritual armor, that most of the armor is kind of a defensive armor to withstand the attacks of the adversary. But then we come to the sword of the spirit. That's our offensive weapon, and it's the only one we need. It's the very weapon that can always rebuke Satan. It can always reveal the lies of Satan. And ultimately, it's the weapon that is transforming our minds, renewing us in truth. And so we're overcomers. It makes me think about the first time I heard Mandisa's song, Overcomer. I think it was in the morning time. I was taking the kids to school. Uh, and they talked to me, it was on Caleb, and they said, hey, we got a brand new song from Mandisa, you're going to love it, and they played it, you know, and they got talking about, hey, you're an overcomer, you're taking the fight to the final round, uh, you're an overcomer, uh, you know, you get all these different applications of that, and you know, of course, the the, uh, the beat was really hard, it was fast, it's got to be pumped up, and I think we need to be reminded, we're living in a defensive posture in this day and time, in regards to so many can, things that are going on around us. When the fact of the matter is, we have the Spirit of God, we have the Sword of God, which is the Word of God. We need to be on the offensive. We need to be taking the fight to the adversary. Not And remember, our adversary, our enemy, is not flesh and blood. And so let's make sure we identify the enemy appropriately and then hone in and act like overcomers. 
act victorious. Don't live in, in susceptible to and subject to the uh, the power of sin. Lastly, the writer says, why is it important that we understand Jesus has overcome the world? I just told you why. So that we won't live defensively. Instead, we'll leave the house today, tomorrow, as, as long as the Lord tarries, we will leave headed out knowing that we have been called of God to live sin today.